Welcome to another fresh edition of Poly Playbook. We're serving up all the hot action, cool plays, and everything in between for Cal Poly Athletics. I'm Connor McCarthy. I'm Nate Edelman. I'm Brian Chong. Poly Playbook starts now. Who do you think will win the Super Bowl this year? I think the Patriots are going to win. Hi, I'm Joe Schatz, and I'm here at Spano Stadium. I'm Megan Healy here at Staples Center. Myself will be taking on Sierra Island. Best pitcher in Big West softball history. Let's see how this goes. Tune in every week to Poly Playbook right here on Mustang News. Hello and welcome to another fresh edition of Poly Playbook. We're serving up all the hot action, cool plays, and everything in between for Cal Poly Athletics. I'm Kylie Smith. Poly Playbook starts now. The girls' volleyball team secures the Big West title for the second year in a row on senior night by sweeping Cal State Fullerton. Cal Poly swept both UC Riverside and Cal State Fullerton to clinch their second straight Big West Conference Championship. Junior Tori Van Winden led the team against Cal State Fullerton with 12 kills, 12 digs, and 4 blocks. The team's win was also the Mustangs program record 21st consecutive at Moss Athletic Center. The girls finished a perfect season 10-0 at home after going 8-0 last season. Cal Poly's back-to-back -back conference titles are the first since 2006 and the fifth overall in program history. Cal Poly finished re regular season with a record of 25-2 overall and 15-1 in the Big West Conference play. The Mustangs will be making their 16th appearance in the NCAA tournament. After winning the Big West Championship for the second year in a row, the women's volleyball team also took home some of the top awards. Junior opposite hitter Tori Van Winden was also named Big West Player of the Year. Freshman setter Avalon Dinikache received Co-Freshman of the Year honors, and head coach Sam Crossan was named Big West Coach of the Year for the second year in a row. This year, a total of six Cal Poly volleyball players received all-conference first team honorable mention and all-conference freshman team recognition. After winning the Big West Conference Championship for the second year in a row, the Cal Poly volleyball team earned a spot in the NCAA Tournament. The Mustangs earned their second straight appearance in the NCAA Tournament on Sunday. The tournament field was announced and the Cal Poly found out their opponent. Cal Poly was selected as number two seed in the USC sub-regional and will play the University of San Diego in the first round on Friday. If they win, they will play the winner of USC and Samford in the second round for a shot at the Sweet 16. Junior Tori Van Winden believes Cal Poly has a great opportunity to have a long run in the tournament. Um, I mean, you know, we knew that we were going, but to just see it on the screen and hear it on TV at national television is always something really special, and it really just solidifies the hard work that we put in this season and um, I think that we're hungry. Last year left us really hungry to get past that second round, obviously not overlooking uh, the first round, but we're, we're excited for this tournament and we feel a little more experienced and a little more excited to go into it. I think that it would mean a ton, but it wouldn't mean everything. Uh, this team has their mind set on a national championship and I think that was a mistake from last year is that we were just, our goal was to just win those first two rounds, and um, that limits yourself. NCAA has had so many upsets this year with unranked opponents and top 10 opponents and all of these things, and being able to just kind of witness that and having a really geared in team to watching those those matches um, has kind of made us have this epiphany that like, it's really anyone's game at any point. And Last Saturday was a record-breaking night for Cal Poly football as the Mustangs took on Southern Utah. Several Cal Poly seniors put on a show during senior day. The passing game showed up in a big way. Senior quarterback Khalil Jenkins threw a career-high five passing touchdowns, as well as a career-record 196 yards. Senior fullback Joe Prethero wrote his name in the Cal Poly history books by becoming the all-time career-leading rusher at 4,871. Junior receiver J.J. Koski led the receivers with 109 yards, as well as two touchdowns. The Mustangs would go on to win a final score of 38-24. to The team finished with their season with a 5-6 record and went 4-4 four four in the Big Sky Conference play. The Cal Poly men's basketball lost their first two games of the Portland Invitational before holding on to a one-point lead for an overtime win. The team kicked off the tournament with a 54-42 loss to Texas State. At the end of the first half, Cal Poly led 23-16, but failed to produce on offense or defense throughout the second half. The Mustangs gave up 38 points while managing to only score 19. For the second game of the tournament, Cal Poly took on the University of Portland, and the second game looked a lot like the first. The Mustangs managed to control the first half of the game and went on 
into halftime leading 33 to 23, but gave up 49 points in the second half to lose the game 72 to 67. Cal Poly managed to change their fortunes in the third game, a one-point overtime win against University of Southern California Upstate. With just four seconds left, the Spartans committed a goal tending penalty to give the Mustangs the lead and the win. The Cal Poly women's basketball team faced the Pepperdine Waves Saturday in Mott Athletic Center. The Mustangs rallied in the fourth quarter to cut Pepperdine's 15-point lead to a seven-point gap with just over two minutes left in the game. But Pepperdine held on, securing a 70-63 victory over the Mustangs. Senior Devin Stambeck led the Mustangs in, four, in points for the game, scoring a total of 17 points. The Mustangs are 1-6 for the season and looking to pick up two more wins this week. They will continue a four-game homestand this week, hosting Eastern Washington on Wednesday at 11 a.m. and St. Mary's on Saturday at 2 p.m. Uh, Mustangs Katie Izzo and Miranda Dashian competed in the women's 6K at the Cross Country National Championship meet last week. Izzo placed 82nd, while Dashian placed 112th against 255 other runners. Izzo finished with a time of 20 minutes and 58 seconds, and Dashian finished at 21 minutes and 9 seconds. Both the men and women's cross-country squads ranked in the top 45 of the National Cross-Country Rating Index. The men's team finished number 39 out of 350 programs, while the women's ended the year number 45 out of 318 programs. Coming up this weekend, the Cal Poly volleyball team will take on the University of San Diego in the first round of the NCAA tournament. The teams will play at University of Southern California on Friday at 6 p.m. If Cal Poly wins, they will play again on Saturday at 7 p.m. The women's basketball team will play against St. Mary's in Mott Gym at 2 p.m. And the men's basketball team will travel to Fresno State to take on the Bulldogs on Saturday at noon. Well, that's all we have for Poly Playbook Sports Action this show. You can follow us on Instagram and Snapchat, or you can log in to mustangnews.net for continuous Cal Poly sports coverage. I'm Kylie Smith. Have a great rest of your week.